Tyler, I didn't see you there. Can you get closer? Is it okay if I sit way over here? Yeah, sit way over there. I'm looking at my future. We're grabbing coffee again. Shocker. I'll never pay $5 for a cup of coffee. I heard someone say that legit two days ago. The voice you're doing for that lady sounds like it was a guy. And now you're telling me we were drinking BK Joe the whole time? While we're, while we're getting coffee, we thought we would do a devotional. You wanna do a Devo? Um, I like doing these. I know it's gonna like, sound weird, because I'm you don't have to say it, but I like doing them. Yeah, I like doing them a lot more than I like editing them. Today, to help you sort through all of this stuff about your soul, we're gonna ask you two questions. I want you to ask them at home. Ask them wherever you're at. If you're in the car, ask yourselves. Turn to your neighbor. Oh, it's a beautiful night in this neighborhood. So I got a question for you. Mm -hmm. What, Neil, and you, what occupies your thoughts? Most of the time, what occupies, Ooh. what's between here and here? What okay. occupies those thoughts? So there is, there's this guy in the Bible. His name is Joshua. Uh, you may have heard about Joshua. I don't know if you know who Moses is, but Joshua is Moses's, he's not his. I think they know who Moses is before they know who Joshua is. Yeah, okay, so if you know who Moses is, yeah, cue that clip. Moses had a right-hand guy. That guy who he was raising up to be a leader, his name is Joshua. And jo Joshua, you're on I'm my, my right hand. Okay. I was oh. saying. This guy named Joshua, he's at the end of his life, and he has this huge decision to make. It's not unlike the question that Tyler just asked you. We will read the scripture really quick. Joshua chapter 24, verse 15, it says, if you decide that it's a bad thing to worship God, then choose a God you'd rather serve and do it today. Wow, that's bringing heat. More story time. When Joshua says that statement, which is pretty baller, I would say. Yeah, he's not messing around. He's absolutely not messing around. He is on his deathbed when he says that scripture. Wow. He's got all of his family and his friends around, his nieces, his nephews, kids, grandkids, everybody's gathered around. And he's basically telling them, these are my last words, and this is a challenge to them. And I love what he eventually goes on to say. He, he basically challenges them with that one, and then he gives them this right hook scripture. You wanna read good. this? Yeah, I'd love to read it. So this is part of that same verse I read earlier. Joshua 24, 15. As for me and my family, we'll worship God. Think of that, that's like, like your dad walking in the house and being like, hey guys, I mean, if y'all, if you guys wanna be hard workers, that's, that's fine. great. Yeah, that's fine. If you don't want to be a hard worker, uh, there's another house down the street. You yeah. can head down there. There's the door. There's another translation that says, as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. I actually have that scripture up on the wall in my house because our last name is Great House. And it kind of goes along with that. Like, as for me and my house, we're going to serve the Lord. I don't care what you're doing. How do you know what's good for me? That's my me, my house, we're gonna serve God. Joshua chose to serve God. That was a strong will decision. Think about the decisions that you make. Are they emotional? Are you an emotionally driven person? What is your motivation behind that? Even if it's not with serving God. How do you pick what school you go to? How do you pick what job you get? How do you pick who you date? Yeah. Those are huge decisions and they can't be emotional. You gotta have a will and a mind. That's what your soul needs to do is get it connected to the heart. You're thinking to yourself like, I gotta do that on my own? Like, I have to just continue to just build that motivation? No, you don't have to just do it on your own. Yeah. You can ask the Holy Spirit to give you that guidance, to give you that passion, that motivation. Yeah. He'll, he'll answer that prayer every single time. Every single time. Speaking of prayer, we should pray. God, help us to line our mind, our will, and our emotions up with you today, with your word, so we can live differently today. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Thank Excuse me, Burger King. Do you guys think that the coffee is made from burgers? Because it's not, it just comes from Burger King. Thanks for the game, don't be like a strategy. That's what I'm talking about.